Hey guys, so welcome to this uh, video on the insert into select statement in RTSQL. In the previous video, we had looked um, at the select into statement, which basically allowed us to copy data from an existing table into a new table. And um, so I'll link to that video in the top right corner of the screen if you want to check it out. But the important thing to remember about the select into statement is that the new table into which you're copying the data has does not have to be created beforehand. So it, the select into statement creates that table with the same structure uh, of the data that you're copying into it. So that's a little bit about the select into statement. Today we're going to be looking at the insert into select statement, which basically copies data from one table and inserts it into another table that is already existing. And it's important to remember that uh, the insert into select statement requires that the data types in the source and target tables match. So basically the mapping has to be uh, correct and there should be no uh, um, uh, data data type uh, clashes. So I've put the syntax um, up on the screen. This is basically just insert into um, the new table that you've created. And then below that you can do a select star from the old table and then you can filter it or do any other aggregation or querying based on your requirement. And another thing to note is that um, the existing records in the in the in the table into which you're copying data will be unaffected. So it's not it's not replacing the data. It's probably just appending the data would be a better way to say it. So let's set up the environment and get into the demo. So I'm on a Mac, hence I'm using Azure Data Studio. And if you're on a Windows, you'll probably be using SQL Server Management Studio. And I'll uh, put an installation guide to both of these uh, softwares uh, in the top right corner of the screen so you can uh, just follow along if you need to download them depending on what your OS you're using and also I leave a github repository link in the description below which has um, uh, two, uh, two files one with the uh, table setup file that is the um, all the statements that I've used to create uh, the sample data that I'll be working on so you can follow along and I've got I'll also uh, leave another file with the base, the same queries that I'm using in the demo. So you can just copy paste those if you're too lazy to type it out yourself. So let's dive into the demo. So first let's look at the table that we have existing. So we have a table called members and it's got an ID, a first name, a last name, an email and a gender. And so we, if we want to copy uh, data from this table into a new table using the insert into select uh, statement what we have to do is unlike the select into statement we do have to create the table structure and we have to create the table structure in such a way that um, it matches the existing table so we've got an ID which is an integer first name character last name character email character gender character so that should be fine so we can run this and now we've probably got members to already so we can just check that out select star members two and now when we run this you can see we've got an empty table so now let's use the insert into select statement and copy the data from one table into another so for that we write insert into the new table name then we do a select star from the old table name which is just members and we can do a where clause, but just to keep it simple, I won't do a where clause. So we can just uh, keep things simple for you to understand. So we got 50 rows affected. So that means there were 50 rows in members, the original table, and all 50 of those have been copied into members too. So now when we run members too, we can see that we've got the same data um, copied into that table. So now a more interesting use case um, for this insert into select statement is say we had another table that looked like this which was uh, select star from member details so suppose you had another table which looked like this which was just a list of um, first name last name and an email id so say you want you had a newsletter that you were sending out or an email list that you wanted to work with and you wanted to move uh, some of your members into this table so that you could easily um, put them into your uh, emailing software or whatever. So 
how you could do that using the insert into select statement would be just to copy the specific rows that you need and put them into the new table but it's important to remember that even if you are copying just specific rows the data types have to match so if you were copying just the first name last name and email the table into which you're copying them that would have to match not that not the column names but just the data types so it's probably going to be three uh, uh, character strings uh, based on the data that we are copying so how would we do that so we do insert into the new table name which is member details and then we can do select first underscore name last underscore name an email from members so now when we run this it should move only those three columns of data into this new member details table so you can see we've got 50 rows affected and now when we look at member details you can see we've got the whole list so it should be around 53 names because we had three earlier and then we copied 50 so that looks like it's worked so that's a little bit about the insert into select statement thank you guys for watching don't forget to like subscribe uh, share comment hit the bell icon to help us keeping this channel going